was all very good. Hello guys, what's up? It's me Thunderbolt. And uh have you seen any new weird secrets in this trailer? Like that squid Inkay from Pokemon X and Y? That's weird, they never showed him in the trailer for as a Pokeball Pokemon. Is he an assist trophy or is he just there or did Nintendo forget to announce him? Did they even know about him? There's a couple of more Pokemon than that, as you can see right now. Look, there's a... I forgot this name. It's a Cloud Pokemon. Snivy, they forgot. Uh, Dedene, Chespin, and, uh... And they also forgot to add in Xerneas. The Snivy, the puffy thing, <laughs> sorry. Dedene, Chespin. Those guys weren't even shown in the trailer. Not even one bit. And Xerneas isn't even in the gang. I mean, I don't see anything like that. The rest of these guys were actually shown. So, did Nintendo forget? Like I said, I'm confused. And what do they do? Like, Chespin and Snivy, they're two grass Pokemon. And then, there's like four turtle that they missed out. No, actually five. Don't forget in K. Um, and, and so far right here. I don't think there's any more, but we'll see. But it's just kind of weird how they forgot Xerneas. And where the heck is v Eveltal? My bad. Jeez, I'm bad with my Pokemon words. Names, my bad. But, yeah. Let's move on. Let's watch the rest of the trailer and look for some secrets. Alright. So, Charizard's fine. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. I needed to uh, edit something. So, yeah. Uh, look at them. They're holding items. Does that- is that Mewtwo? Nope. <laughs> look at those items. Nice. Wonder what that missile is. It's Samus's, uh, gun, I think. Her missile. That kind of looks like Mewtwo. But, can you guess who it is? You probably already know thanks to the trailer. God dang it. It's it's gonna be a ninja and it has a tongue around him. It's Greninja. Dun 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 makes a splash. He's a ninja. There he is. Okay. Let's see if we can find some Pokemon that were left out. Hey look, they actually showed a new Pokemon, Golding. He wasn't even included in that Pokemon game. So that's a new one. Golding's here. But I think I already knew that because of the snapshot. Hey look, Substitute. So yeah, Golding wasn't in the game, but he's a fish and there's like no water, so that's probably why he wasn't included. Alright. Fennekin, we saw him. Oh yeah, Mega Lucario. And Mega Charizard. <laughs> Poor Mario. Zelda. Her down special attack is now a new move called Phantom Slash. Of course, summoning a phantom also works as a defensive move. Then again, you should be careful not to let your phantom get reflected back at you. Zelda's down special attack has been changed, so what happened to Sheik? Don't worry, Sheik is back. We've polished Sheik's moves and added two more special attacks, what we're calling Burst Grenade and Bouncing Fish. 
First grenades are little bombs that blow up once you pull the pin out. Bouncing fish is an acrobatic kick technique using the heel of the foot. Samus's final smash still uses the zero laser, but it's a little different this time around. Did you catch it? Previously, when Samus unleashed this weapon, her power suit fell to pieces. But not anymore. It's not just her. All characters who used to change forms mid-match will no longer change. Instead, you'll be able to concentrate on a single moveset for the whole fight. Hmm? What happened to Ziritsu Samus, you say? Well, unfortunately, she's not going to participate in this iteration of Smash Brothers. In the previous title, Zero Suit Samus was designed with slightly less physical strength, so I thought we needed to find ways to toughen her up. That's why we've given her a pair of jet boots and the moves to work with them. What used to be a weakness now results in this. Kicks that combine both power and speed. Let's focus on two deep breathing and sensing. Deep breathing helps to unify the mind, so afterward, the trainer's attacks hit all the harder. The sun salutation is a projectile attack that the refit trainer can create and save for later use. I think using this energy for fighting stays a bit from the original mobile teaching, but it's a powerful attack nonetheless. Make your attack stronger with deep breathing. Then finish the enemy off with a sun salutation. Now the question is how much deep breathing can you do? So that's a good question. You can also have fun playing as a Hey, male film. Male weed bit training. Now also, there's another question for you guys. Are these guys like skins like in Smash Brothers Brawl and all kinds of Smash Brothers where you can change colors? I don't know. Is this a form? By the way, check this out. Nintendo, show us more, please, show us more of those custom move sets, please, I'm begging you, man, we need a lot of them, show us more. Lucario's aura attacks have been strengthened, and now, when it's in trouble, it'll do even more damage than in the previous game. However, you should be careful not to power up too much, or you'll quickly find yourself in serious trouble. We also had some player expectations we had to fulfill. And that means a Mega Evolution. After its Mega Evolution, Lucario's aura attacks will always do maximum damage. For this game, Olimar can only have three Pikmin following him around. This is a bit of a painful power reduction. It was all very or so good. you might think. One important change is that Olimar now plucks Pikmin in a fixed order. Red, yellow, blue. Once these guys get dispatched, let's come white, then purple, and then back to red again. With their reduced numbers, you'll be able to clearly see them lined up behind you, and management becomes all the more important. Also, 
We've changed his recovery move to this. Yes, winged Pikmin. You'll tote the Pikmin following you and fly through the air. But the more Pikmin you have, the heavier the captain will be. We're trying to correct some of his shortcomings, but also add some weak points. For the new additions, we've cut the gliding mechanic from Radio Pick's repertoire. Is this, of course, I'm represents a bit of a down the This place, though, we've leveled Hardpoint him up in a number of areas. Love love. The power of flight is also an easy to use recovery move. His final smash has been changed to the three sacred treasures. We've made the moveset set. Pokeball. Who knows when it'll come out? Opening one is such fun. This time, looks like we got one of these. This is a Master Ball. Only hard to find Pokemon in Let's try opening one. Whoa, it's Arceus. With its heavy attacks, it can hit fighters in mid air with a meteor sword. And dunk it. It was all now very good. Some more of the Radioactivity is a constant thing. A creature that will rule the universe. Floating higher and higher. It's impervious to all poison. And love, and love, and love. Meditation. Only you can Now let's take a look at some items. had a bad trip.
Next up is Little Mac. As you can see, though his body is small, he packs huge punches and can throw them quickly as well. As a boxer, his attacks basically consist of punching with both hands, so it's a bit difficult to put a diverse moveset together. That said, I think he's become an exceedingly fresh character. He's extremely strong at unleashing attacks while on the ground. He can also shrug off some attacks through sheer willpower. He's also got smash attacks that hit at megaton levels, so he's sure to be launching opponents left and right. Unfortunately though, his abilities in the air are extraordinarily weak. That's right, even though he's a terror on the ground, he's very vulnerable in the air, and even his attack power weakens considerably. Plus, his ability to recover is just terrible. There's one more attribute that's unique to Little Mac, his power meter. His special moves include the straight lunge, which is very strong on its own. But beyond that, connecting with attacks and even getting hit by enemies will fill Little Mac's power meter. When it's completely full, you'll become armed with a one-shot-only attack, the KO Uppercut. One punch, it's the KO. Mmm, that felt great. So that's Little Mac, an up-close brawler that wants to stay rooted to the ground. How he fares in battle will be up to the players. The Jolt Haymaker will allow him to leap into the fray and avoid attacks. The Rising Uppercut is his recovery move. Though it doesn't have a lot of jump power, the move makes up for it with attack power. And then there's the Slip Counter, a move where Mac faints like he's going to take a hit, then counterattacks his enemy. And then there's his final smash, the transformation into Giga Mac. Are these two really the same guy? Oh, also, for old school fans, we're including Wireframe Mac as one of your costume choices. This is a recreation from the 1984 arcade game, the original Punch-Out. <laughs>